Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. There's a King of Cups out here. You may end up passing away. There's something where you're like very toxic, very karmic. I don't know if your mental is gone, but you're just set on destroying someone's life because of some type of insecurities you are dealing with. You are someone that is unsure of yourself, whether it is your sexuality or whatever it is. I really don't care about that kind of stuff, but there's something where you have put your eyes on a light worker. I don't know if this is someone you dated in the past, or maybe you're showing up as a king of cups because this is how you want the world to see you. Um, you've been coming after like a star sea earth Star seed, king, queen of cups energy, uh, and you are trying to destroy this person. Like you want to prove, <laughs> you want to prove that someone is not who they say they are, or maybe you found out someone is who they say they are, but you are just absolutely determined to uh, tear this person down, destroy them. But everything you are intending for someone is going to be happening to you. The moment you take some type of action to destroy someone is going to be the end for you. Um, what's going to happen to you first is that you're going to be losing all of your security, your foundation. You may end up going through a divorce. God forbid you may end up losing a child as well. You may end up in the penitentiary. Everything like your stability, everything is about to be dismantled. Um, as all of this is being done, you're going to be watching everything play out. And once, <clears throat> just when you think it's over, that's when the Big Bang is going to happen for you. So you may end up passing away or you're going to end up in some type of state of living where you'll be like a vegetable. Um, yeah, you're someone very karmic. You'll be like a vegetable or you may end up paralyzed in a wheelchair, cannot take care of yourself um, because you're just someone that's very stubborn and refuses to grow up, mature up. You have a lot of hate in your heart for other people, especially people you think that are better than you. It is your choice to reside in some type of negative energy. It is your choice to be insecure. It is your choice to be toxic. It is your choice to be malicious. Nobody else. It is your choice to be a narcissist. No one else made you a narcissist. You chose to be that way. Maybe you were grown to be a narcissist. But just because you chose to be a narcissist or was grown to be a narcissist, that does not mean that you can just get out here and do whatever it is you want to do to other people. You've gathered a group, a coven of people. You've created your own little coven to come after people. I don't know if this is like a queen of cups, queen of pentacles, queen of wands, energy. You're coming after basically an empress within the deck, queen of swords. You're very pissed off that someone is independent. You're trying to figure out how to trap this person, how to bind them. But the truth is being exposed about you. You could be someone that walk around pretending like everything is okay. I'm telling you, you're going to be losing everything with everybody you partner up with. This queen of pentacles, this uh, malicious, dark, dishonest queen of pentacles that's obsessed with with a masculine as well you're all in the same community and people keep partnering up with you to do something to someone that you should have stopped doing a long time ago there could be someone in your ear telling you to stop doing something actually you may have a few people that have been telling you to let go of something but you keep going forward so your foundation is about to be dismantled so if you were someone that was stable in life living some type of ten of pentacles eight of pentacles lifestyle that's about to be over i don't know if this is your wife or this is somebody else's wife or someone that's been out here living very abundant their ten of pentacles is about to be taken away from them as well they're not receiving some type of either position or financial payout or whatever this is that they thought they were going to be receiving so you are out here planning to take someone down or eradicate them destroy them on a life then when they're taking action to move on with their life or moving towards a woman of high honor they could be coming after a king of wands as well that they're trying to block um, they don't want this man coming towards you, uh, Star C, Divine Feminine. They don't want a King of Wands coming towards you, like someone of high honor or someone that's wealthy coming towards you to balance something out. They want to trap this man. Um, they want to trap you as well. They may want to bring you legal issues or they just want to cause you a lot of conflict in your life. They may even try to get you to go back to the, po to the past to get you to go back to some type of karmic relationship or something like that. Or they may want him to go back to a karmic relationship with a queen of pentacles reverse. That's just financially motivated. There's a lot of chaos going within 
going on within an institution. It's like people are going through karma, but instead of them focusing on what it is they're going on, going through and trying to balance those situations out for themselves, they're choosing to focus on destroying you because there's something that has a lot to do with greed, jealousy, insecurities. It's been the same theme coming out for quite a while. This is the same group. There may be people distancing themselves from uh, these people, the toxic ones, um, but there is like a Queen of Pentacles reverse, a King of Cups reverse, Queen of Wands reverse that I've been picking up on, and a Queen of Cups reverse that's just gone whole on taking someone down, destroying some type of divine union, but it's divine for a reason, it's destined for a reason. So you all can do whatever you want, but at the end of the day, you're still going to be sitting and watching two people come together if the most high deems it to be so. Um, there's something coming to the light, something is being illuminated about what people have been doing out here trying to steal from someone, steal their abundance, block their abundance block some type of connection or a contract with this higher fin out here this was a contract that was meant for a queen of cups empress energy but you all have been interfering to cause blockages for this person so that they don't receive their contract this is someone that has mastered themselves and it has you all pissed off because this is someone that's able to go within and see the truth about who it is you all are someone also the king of wands maybe seeing the truth about the matter maybe they didn't see it before but now that he understands what it is that's really going on what you all have been doing and how you've been manipulating him behind the scenes he's choosing to go within may have went and sought some type of advice professional advice that's enabling him to move on and invest in some type of new beginning uh, this could be a king of pentacles king of wands energy uh some type of sagittarius energy as well i don't know if this they are really a sagittarius but that's the energy that's coming out this could be someone that's gone through some type of healing this is a king of pentacles that have done some type of healing if you are a king of pentacles and you know you haven't been doing the healing work out here i'm not talking about you please don't try to force anything to uh, to fit your personality you know what you've been doing so you know that it's not you um and if you are a king of pentacles that's been doing the work if i say something about a king of pentacles that's negative then you know it's not about you obviously since you're doing the work with you and you're not involving yourself in those lower energy activities and things like that but the truth is being illuminated your ancestors are protecting you king of wands uh divine energy as well divine feminine you are being protected for some from some type of attack these people are planning for you they want you out of here at this time is that they don't even want to do magic anymore they don't, they don't care about the manipulations anymore like they want to take you out physically so that you're not here and you don't move towards someone of high honor they want you stuck in some type of toxic karmic relationship with a queen of pentacles reverse that's not even sure of herself someone is just around you because of money this is someone that pretends to be something that she is not this is someone that has taken on some type of personality yeah this woman you're leaving her behind to give a solid commitment that's based on true um and you're going to be investing in this relationship and it's causing a tower for these people they're having some type of revelation that everything they've been doing has been in vain you are still moving forward to have victory with a queen of swords and this person will be in a queen of swords because of the things that these people have been doing to whoever this divine feminine is behind the scenes um so they're in their queen of swords taking charge of their life and moving forward and it has these people bother because whatever this woman is doing whatever truth she's spe uh, speaking however way she's carrying herself is the part of, it's part of the reason why you want to balance things out for her this woman is not only a queen of swords but she's also a queen of cups and someone is very skilled right and you are doing what it is you can to kind of get away from this karmic situation maybe you're trying starting to see things and people for what they are i think you're learning some type of how hard lesson yourself uh, when it comes to loyalty and the people that you align yourself with maybe you're reconsidering the people that you consider to be friends family whatever family is not always blood it can be something that's just on a spiritual level so it's stronger and uh better than just blood so there is something where it's like these people don't want you thriving or moving forward in life if the abundance that you are manifesting they don't have access to it as if to say you all's uh, destinies are attached to one another it is not everybody has their own destiny and they have the right to change it at whatever time they want to even you king of wands if you decided that you don't want to be with this divine energy this divine feminine that is absolutely a okay as long as you are moving forward on your own terms and making the 
changes that you need to make so that you can ascend and live in your fullness and be the best version of yourself. Um, but you are still going to be moving on. Your ancestors are going to be protecting you on your journey to go where, to wherever it is or to whoever it is you are going to. You could be someone that's single now, like you're taking action to be single in your life. Be content with yourself instead of looking to women for fulfillment and things of that nature. And it has these people really pissed off. I just keep picking up on a queen of pentacles that's just misrepresented herself like she wants you to see her as a queen of cups but this woman likes all of the characteristics of a genuine queen of cups this is not someone that's nurturing with the devil in front of her and the ten of pentacles behind her this is someone that is just obsessed greedy someone has some type of obsession with money they have an obsession with being seen as someone that's practical diplomatic business minded but they're not any of the above this is just someone that knows how to pretend to be something that they're not this is someone that very is very easy to speak pass out like if you say something they tend to misconstrue a lot of things that you say their their mind is very distorted so this is someone that is passed out on you lose their temper real quickly um if you say something they don't like but they're trying to pretend to be wholesome at the same time and people that are wholesome don't lose their temper that easily so if you really pay close attention to this woman because this is someone that's in your face uh, and I'm hearing every day. This is someone that's in your face every day, either Monday through Friday, Monday through Sunday, whatever it is. You'll catch up on catch up uh, on things that she's doing, but maybe you haven't caught on to them because you haven't been paying attention, or maybe you just haven't been in tune with your higher self. Your third eye has been blocked because you haven't been paying attention to it and don't want to do the work to open it. But I think you are going through that ascension now, now with that six of swords out here. But this is not someone that's hard to see through. I've always like found it real or uh, interesting because for me, when I'm around people, it's very easy for me to read people. It don't take me but three seconds to know what it is you're about. But just because I know what it is you're about, does not mean I'm gonna say something. I'm just gonna keep it to myself and let you be you. Uh, eventually, you'll learn. You'll you'll catch on that I'm aware. Um, but I've realized that a lot of the times, the people that I'm around, whether it's at work, school, church, or whatever, they're not as quick witted when it comes to reading people so sometimes i'm like light years ahead and i'm looking at a clown and i'm like oh that's a whole clown right there how are people not seeing the clownery going on or that's a fake person she's pretending to be genuine how do they not see it but i'm realizing it's because some, most people their third eyes are not open and they're not even thinking about that um maybe they're even in environments where everybody behaves the same so they think it's just normal there's a situation like that you are in some type of karmic situation or you've been in a toxic situation where everybody around you or just about everybody around you is very karmic um uh, very uh, um superficial pretends to be something they are not um maybe you were the same as well so you don't have the um Maybe I'm not going to say you don't have the ability, but you're not looking for the signs, the symbols, and the synchronicities to show you that someone is not genuine, that someone is toxic because you are accustomed to toxicity. You feel me? Uh, so this is why you wouldn't notice because this woman has the eight of swords, devil in front of her and then followed by the freaking ten of pentacles after her that is not someone that's genuine at all this is someone that's just extremely financially motivated very greedy and this is someone that does not mind turning to some type of dark form of magic to get what it is that they want so they will manipulate any and everybody around them they don't care if it's their child if it's their husband their partner lover concubine whatever it is that Whoever it is that she's dealing with, this is someone extremely manipulative and just self-motivated. Everything she does is because of her own benefit, not because of anybody else, not you, not anyone, not the child she has, not children, not grandparents, parents, nothing. It's all about her, okay? Uh, so this woman may be pissed off, very jealous that you are moving on to give an offer to someone. I said moving on, split the deck, and then went to the chariot. You moving on is causing a tower to a group of people that like have been working really hard to stop some type of destiny from playing out, causing a lot of confusion amongst these people. They're fighting a lot, arguing a lot as well. But there's some type of contract that's going to be given to someone that's going to bring balance and justice in this person's life. You may be finding out that whatever people have been doing, someone didn't deserve, they didn't do nothing to anyone to deserve this. But someone is 
is moving forward in victory. Maybe any of getting married, being a very traditional relationship that has reciprocity, very much uh, fulfilling and things like that. This could be someone that's very much uh, spiritual as well with the higher fan out here. You could be a spiritual person. You two could be coming from different walks of life. You could be someone that's very spiritual. I mean, you could be someone that's very religious in this woman you're going towards could be very spiritual so she could be like a high priestess and you're a higher fan so symbolically this is two different realms coming together the realms of religion and the realms of spirituality coming together and which is a beautiful thing but there are people that are against uh, these two realms coming together and this is the honest truth um that you two will be investing into each other you two may be more like-minded than you, people may realize maybe you just tend to keep your uh, beliefs in everything to yourself. Maybe you're someone that's starting to realize as well that the religious aspect of yourself is not something you resonate with. Um, so you may be leaving some type of relationship behind. Uh, you may be disappointed as well because you may have rejected this Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups energy in the past um, based on illusions and things like that. Uh, there may be some type of illusions as well going on when it comes to if this person is a genuine temperance energy because whoever I'm picking up on that you're going towards is someone that's, in, that's of a temperance energy. So they may be causing a lot of illusions um, about this person. You too, you could be of temperance energy now. Like you've been doing the healing work. Maybe since you separated from someone, you decided to start doing the work. Um, but there's something where they're causing a lot of illusions to you about the energy that you are interested in either working with, being with, investing in something of that nature. Um, so that, that it is what it is, but you've made the decision to move forward in truth, in honesty, to, uh, taking charge of your life and your destiny and things of that nature in order to bring some type of balance and have a new and fresh start, have some type of victory in life. You could be looking into something or you're watching someone on social media, kind of seeing how they do something, how they speak, what it is they know. Maybe you're interested in what it is that they do. Uh, hopefully you're not one of those out here that are trying to steal from someone, trying to manipulate someone into giving you something, uh, giving you some type of information so you can misuse it and then act like you came up with it. Hopefully that's not the vibe um, that you are in, but hopefully you are doing the genuine work with the six of swords and the judgment out here. I think you are someone that is at genuinely doing the work to be content within thyself because what people don't realize at the end of the day, that's really all you need is to be content within yourself. And when you are content within yourself, you'll never feel the need to participate in these kind of lower energy activities. Whether it's having multiple partners, whether it's manipulating to get what it is you want, whether it comes to finances and things like that. When you are content within yourself, you never have to manipulate to get any of those things because everything in the universe comes to you in divine timing. I'm telling you, it comes in divine timing. You just got to do the manifestation, put in the work, effort, time, energy, uh, learn the skill of the craft and invest in what it is. Uh, and I promise you, the universe will always give you a solid offer. This fell out in the reverse, which is letting me know that there's some type of offer you want to give to someone and people don't want you giving it. They don't want you giving a solid offer to somebody. Um, so that's more than likely why that's coming out in the reverse. You may be heartbroken behind the scenes about a group of friends and what they've been up to the whole time. Maybe you're realizing that you thought you were working with these people, but they've been working against you. The whole friend group, the whole community, the whole family, they are burdened may have legal issues coming in or are just going through some type of karma. Mm. There's a king of cups being exposed to you. And just like I started off saying, this king of cups, you're about to lose everything. I knew you were going to show up in this read, and here you are. You're showing up in the reverse. You are going to be losing everything when it comes to your finances, your stability, your home from your materialistic uh, assets and things like that, whether it's you driving a, a Mercedes, a multiple cars, whether it's you li living in a mansion, being married, you're about to be here real single as a Pringle, rejected, going through the very same thing you tried to put somebody through. Uh, so you're going to be losing absolutely everything because the universe needs you to understand what it is that you've been doing out here and that there are ramifications for your actions, correct? Um, so you may feel invincible. They may have taken something from you and you're like, oh, it's okay. I'm still going to keep going because they told you to stop doing something. And you said that you are still going to keep doing it. Uh, that's okay. They're about to fix it, fix the situation for you. And everybody that 
past been partnering up with you has trapped themselves in some type of karmic cycle and they're about to be going through some type of problem karma that they won't even know how to verbalize this is like one of those situations where you're going through something and you just feel like you don't feel like talking like you just keep it to yourself because it, it just doesn't make any sense it's like how did i end up here i was just you know over there yesterday now i'm here like people are about to be falling so far down it won't even make any sense that like you're about to lose everything you may be may have been out here pretending to be wealthy pretending to be uh, a positive energy a positive life pretending to have money in this and that you may even end up having to file from for bankruptcy and all of that like losing their house may end up doing prison time or jail time when you go to jail it won't be easy for you something is going to be very hard for you like you think you're a big bad wolf out here you're about to go and be around the big boys like you're going to be in there like they're gonna be talking about you're playing with the big boys now and you best hope whoever you have been coming after is not in the public eye and those inmates find out who you've been doing something to it's gonna be a hard knock life for you there are always consequences to what people do in life the consequence may not hit you today but it's gonna hit you somewhere down the line and the beautiful thing about the universe is they'll always hit you with the consequences when you least expect it. You know, when you don't want to, when you don't uh, went and bought the Mercedes, you're living in the mansion, you got all the food in there, all the good clothes, the friends are coming over to hang out. That's when, you know, you don't forget about what you did to Mary Beth at work. And then that's when the ancestors of the universe step in and say, hey, <laughs> my aunt is here. And then they say, oh my gosh. I was not expecting it. That's when all of a sudden the baby don't pass, your mom don't pass, the wife is passing away, you don't cut a disease that you can't get rid of, like it's incurable or something like that. Uh, you end up having some type of uh, near-death experience, end up as a vegetable in a bed. No one's there to take care of you and you're just laying there rotting the way with bad, or bad ulcers and all of that. Like something is about to be real horrendous for you. And I know you're very malicious, very wicked and dark, and you don't care how your actions affect people. You feel invincible because you have a, a clan that's supporting you. They're supporting you when it comes to blocking someone's finances, uh, bullying someone at your age. You're still out here bullying people um, at their age. They're still out here bullying people, which is very pathetic. Because at some age, we all got to get out of that mindset. But you all are still out here doing, man, having to be manipulated at your ages. And you still feel good about it. Not knowing that you're trapping yourself to some type of karmic contract. This is not something you're going to be able to work off in this lifetime. This is something that's going to take you multiple lifetimes to work off. Your children are going to have to pay for this. I saw someone with a daughter or something like that. Yeah, they're going to have to pay. I, I, I'm, I, I'm as wicked as I'm picking you up to be to be with this um, eight of swords and devil out here. There's something about you having a child, and I think you love that child very much. You may want to reconsider your actions because there's something that's going to affect that child as they get older. It's, and this is why, why I keep saying you are not doing things that are just going to affect you. It's going to affect your lineage like the next generation and the generation after that is something that's going to be passed down because with the devil out here this is letting me know that you're into some form of dark magic some type of i don't know cult like mentality whatever this is so you should understand how karma works okay so either your 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 kid is going to end up going through something really horrendous and you'll have nobody to blame and the universe may even set it up to where you have you'll have to watch them go through that horrendous uh, experience and you won't be able to do nothing to stop it from happening. So you want to be out here manipulating, playing with people's emotions, uh, conniving and all of that. That's okay. Keep going on because when they are ready to settle the scores, you see how you don't, you don't want from being content in life with the nine of cups in life to what the, the king of cups in reverse, knight of cups in reverse, five of wands, with the devil on there, maybe you don't trap yourself in a karmic cycle that ain't going to be ending anytime soon. It's nothing but chaos. People are not going to be like compassionate towards you. 
Just basically sit down right now and think everything you were manifesting for someone, that's what you're about to end up in. Whether you were trying to get them locked up, you're going to get locked up. If you were trying to have them isolated, you're going to be isolated. If you were trying to have them be rejected, you're about to be being rejected. The people that you've been forming alliances with, they're about to turn their backs on you because something is going on where it's like they just don't want to be associated with you anymore. And I'm hearing you say, I'm going to keep going on my own. I don't care if they... Uh, if they want to work with me, that's fine and dandy. But everything you've been doing to someone, just know that it's going to be reciprocated to you. You're about to be going through financial like maybe going from like a nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, eight of pentacles to the four of pentacles, having to pinch penny with pennies because this is the energy you are trying to manifest uh for someone there could be a queen of pentacles behind the scenes that's fighting with people uh or they're fighting about a queen of pentacles that could be you divine feminine because you and someone are showing up as a match there's a queen of pentacles reversed within this man's life that wants to be seen as his match but more than likely this man is seeing the truth about this woman that she's really just pretentious uh nothing much of substance to her this is someone that's just financially motivated he doesn't want to be part of any type of superficial uh situation so this is a man that's using his common sense and his logic um but they're pissed off because you and this person are showing up as a match and they've done everything in their power so they believe they have um, they've done everything in their power to make this man see you in some type of negative light. They said, no, she's not really that. She's really karmic. She's dishonest. She's a liar. She's a this. She's a that. And someone is choosing to self-actualize and see something from a different angle. Is that why are all these people coming after this one person? It's just not making sense. Um, they may be trying to trap him. I think that's what it is. They're trying to trap him in this karmic either institution or relationship, and he ain't having it. They're fighting with this man, arguing with him, maybe in some type of competition because he's wishing he's wishing uh, to connect with you. Uh, maybe you want to get married or build something with you, have some type of fresh new beginning. Someone is very uh, hopeful, stepping out on faith. Uh, someone is calculating his moves, which is a good thing. Um, so this is a very beautiful thing. Someone may be very traditionally minded, or this is what they've become. Uh, it's not just out here spending money recklessly with people or on people, places, and things anymore. Um, but there's a family that is uh, losing either a king of wands or a king of pentacles, or this could be the masculine that is... Uh, representing both of those energies um there could be another king of pentacles that's losing a business like his business is falling it's filling and i think i picked up on this person a while back and i've warned someone that whatever he was participating in was going to lead to him losing a business him falling from grace i think that the universe may have told um a king of pentacles to either i think assist someone with bringing the truth out or assist them in some type of way and he chose not to because of fear or because of some some type of money with the ten of pentacles in the reverse above this man that means that this is someone that's financially motivated someone's very greedy um and because of money he chose to disregard what he was told to do by spirit which has led to him losing some type of financial stability he may be going through a lot of heartbreak behind the scenes uh someone used to be very abundant uh, someone used to be very, uh, I would say like affluent in his own right, but because he didn't do what spirit told him, um, he is losing everything. Someone may not be doing well, maybe trying to recover from something, recover his finances, but something is not going to be recoverable anytime soon. Um, every plan that he has been coming up with is just not going accordingly. Like the universe is taking action to make sure everything this man plans it does not come into fruition because he disrespected them is how they're seeing it um, when i said they literally the word disrespect came to mind so they feel disrespected by this king of pentacles uh that is financially motivated uh and they are give, uh, teaching him a lesson basically so whatever he's planning to do whether this is coming towards you uh telling you that you cost him money because i picked up on a king of pentacles that may want to come towards someone and tell them hey you cost me money you're gonna have to pay me back my money and blah 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 it's just gonna make things worse for him like someone may go from not just being broke to being sick 
no one to take care of them, something like that. Like his health may end up feeling. So if I was you, I was just going to stay where you are and endure this karma. The universe is serving you because this is something that you, I guess, need to learn. Um, but in, re you know, in actuality, and I'm going to be honest, a lot of the times when we're in sticky situation, uh, we don't know how it's going to turn out. So the universe could be testing us to stick to our gun and keep pushing forward, not go sideways, not partner up with the enemy. But because we're so afraid, for those of us that still live in fear, because we're still so afraid of losing everything, we may not even take heed to what the universe is telling us, right? So we may end up doing something that ends up backfiring. So if they tell us, we need you to support that person, and we, and we see maybe a thousand people coming after this one person, we may choose not to support that person because we don't want those thousand people coming after us. But the whole time, the universe has already dismantled those people's lives from behind the scenes, and they just don't know it yet. And here we are partnering up with them to destroy someone else and then we end up losing everything like this king of pentacles is losing everything uh so it's a situation like that but what i'm really picking up is that this man may have gotten some type of thrill out of destroying you destroying your finances destroying your options destroying some type of connection you were supposed to have with someone um so there i think there are two different king of pentacles in here some one may be low vibrational and the other is high vibrational going through healing but either way they're both learning some type of lesson because they both fail to listen or take heed from the universe and act accordingly uh, especially with the King of Pentacles in the upright. This is the one that has been being misled by a toxic uh, Queen of Pentacles that is not business savvy. Someone is just money focused and everything she does is has to do with how much can she get into her account. What am I being paid? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Something of that nature, okay? But the universe, divine feminine, divine masculine, you are being told that whatever these people are planning, they are absolutely making sure none of it come into fruition. And this has these people burdened because justice is playing out in your life, which is causing disappointment for them, keeping them weighed down because they keep investing in something, trying to pay someone to do you something. But you know what? Uh, while they're doing all of that, there's someone working really hard behind the scenes to come and invest in you. This could be a King of Pentacles coming towards you to invest in you. Someone that's very innovative and creative. Uh, I will throw with caution, however, with this person because this is someone that may have been working with these people in the past, um, but he's trying to fix something now. Um, but there's something where he's trying to figure out how to balance things with these group of fake friends of his um, because it's something that has been brought to his attention that he can have or step out on faith and hope and that you are someone that has a direct connection with source and you're speaking the truth whatever you're speaking is bringing clarity into a situation about some type of stalemate that's been going on when it comes to two people coming together some type of love love situation and he's going within to see the truth understand it accept it may want to communicate with you maybe may, someone may be walking in a little bit more confidence than he used to be because of this truth being exposed uh to him okay and it's leading to some type of victory for him okay um i don't know what in the world this is these are people who are just a little bit too invested in other people's lives and i don't know why they are this invested because at the end of the day if you are trying to block someone from moving forward so you can hold on to some type of money they have when they find out what it is you've been doing they're not giving you a dime they're not investing in you. They don't want to be associated with you. They, they're probably disgusted at the sight of you. So you, you're doing all this work to keep them trapped there so they can hit you in the end. You, you can't make this stuff up. You absolutely cannot make uh, this stuff up. So what's going on now is that your ancestors are having people under judgment within this community or this, or this fake group of friends. Uh, they're going through some type of karma, kind of getting a taste of their own medicine. They're going to have to move on uh, and try to focus on their own lives and things like that. Maybe try to rebalance their finances, which I highly doubt that the universe is going to be letting them do anytime soon because there's something that pe these people have been doing for a long, long 
time. There's, they've been like trying to just destroy someone's dreams. They don't want you focused, having passion for what it is that you do. So there's some type of lesson, karmic lesson they're going through. And once they come out of it, they may come out brand stinking new. Um, but these people are trapped in some type of karmic situation. And it has to do with the fact of a, it has to do with a karmic queen of pentacles that led maybe these people astray and then you have a king of cups reverse that's going to be losing everything he may have been expecting to receive some type of abundance that's not coming towards him um maybe he knows something is going to be given to you and this is why he's trying to destroy you so that you don't receive it um but there is just something he really dark about this man he may be very pissed off wanting to take some type of impulsive action to come towards you uh, there's something where it's like when someone takes action to come towards you it could end up being the end for them and i don't know if it's like the end of their life or the end of their freedom the end of their mobility there's something like that that they're going to put this man in some type of state of living that is just going to be so horrendous like it's going to cause pity on him from other people even you if you end up seeing this masculine he's going to be so pitiful looking it won't even make sense like someone is about to lose everything and the ancestors said they're not missing a thing like they're taking everything from this man any sense of comfort any sense of luxury anything that makes him happy someone could like drinking a lot with him being the king of cups in the reverse out here with that knight of cups in the reverse this is someone that likes to drink this may be someone that has some type of uh additions and things like that that he needs to work on but someone is just far gone someone is just dark very dark very insecure with a lot of secrets he don't want people finding out, but the secrets keep coming out. Someone is just very insecure. Does a lot of manipulations behind the scenes to make something go in their favor. Someone is so accustomed to being able to manipulate other people that he just feels comfortable doing it. Doesn't matter what environment he's in. He feels that he can manipulate any and everyone. So he doesn't care who it is he shows his wickedness to. And it's something that's backfiring on him. But someone is about to lose everything who end up doing some time. When you come out of doing time, it's like there's going to be nothing out here for you i don't know if he's going to try to go on the run or something you can go on the run because where, wherever you're going it's going to be far worse um i remember i had a vision of a man going on a run like he went into i don't know some type of second or third world country and one baby when i say it was horrendous in that jail cell it was horrendous like this man was old and alone very frail just sitting on the on the bare floor like no type of mattress in the cell he had to sleep on the hard cement floor, just sitting there reflecting about his life. And it just looked really pitiful. But it's like all of that could have been avoided if he would have just stopped doing something. But someone has a point to prove that's, that's not really even necessary to be proved. Because whoever they're coming after, they didn't do anything to him. Basically, this is someone trying to prove that you're not who you say you are. But he finds out you are who you are. It bothers him. He gets jealous. So now he has to destroy you so that you're not who you are. Listen, I, I, I don't get the logic. I don't know what the thought process was in this. More than likely there was no thought process. Um, but someone, you know, when you're so far gone into wickedness and when you're so broken and just just hopeless and you don't realize what it is you are, you think you're doing something to someone else you think you're destroying someone else's life until your child comes home and tell you someone did something to them or you know uh, something happened to them that you just can't do anything about and then you end up even more pissed off or you're being pissed off at the wrong people because whoever this man is trying to destroy has done nothing to him at all at all but there's some type of karma he and his lineage are about to go through baby I wouldn't wish this on my worst nightmare. I'm talking about sickness, imprisonment, unemployment, uh, bankruptcy, lack of financial stability, no money, divorce. Like they're hitting every corner. Like they said, they're hitting every aspect of his life so that he can understand what it is that they're trying to teach him. Like we don't got time to play with you. It's what I'm hearing. Today we got time. So, I mean, it is what it is. He wants to prove that he's mightier than the the Most High. Uh, I guess the Most High is stepping in to prove to him that nah, I'm mightier. This is, <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> Welcome to my house. 
that's what the universe is saying but anyways thank you so much for watching stay blessed i'll see you in my next video goodbye for now folks